Hello, hello everybody, I'm Raf and welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. So in this opportunity, I'm going to show you how to put your uh, products, uh, thumbnails in your single product page on the left side, like in this example. So uh, to get you more in context, uh, this is a website that I'm uh, developing for a client and uh, I'm designing and, uh, and developing using Elementor and WooCommerce. And I was looking for some options um, at, at first hand free to have like this. I found some uh, paid plugins like Crocoblogs and some options out there. Uh, I found also some help from uh, themes like Generate Press and also a theme that go, which is another uh, WordPress uh, theme, but nothing for Elementor, which is the main tool that I use for, for website buildings in, in WordPress. So hopefully uh, this isn't gonna be a 10 minute tutorial. So I'm just gonna share some CSS codes that I created uh, and you know, uh, just look for myself. Uh, trying after uh, some hours and hopefully I'm not a professional coder so if you like uh, find a way to optimize what I did it's really welcome so you can just yeah uh, and also share this if you if you consider like helpful for others basically here let's go to our product page um, our single product page in Elementor so uh, here when I add the product uh, widget for the images uh, I don't see an option to like move the images to the to the left side or or change the position, some just basic uh, options. So uh, here I have a, a link for the CSS code that I use. Let me put this smaller. And well, here is uh, basically, uh, I have this commented, so you can obviously uh, follow these instructions. Uh, this is what I recommend, at least for, for my testing uh, on, on every device that I use. And basically what we have to do, it's just go here. So for example, here is my template, uh, you know, with my, basic style this is the basic uh, settings that comes with Elementor and the widget so it's really uh, basic you can you can also have an option to change uh, you know the space between every uh, thumbnail and, the, and the, the, the main picture so here let's go on our on our WordPress uh, website let's go first to our appearance uh, section on the left side and then look for the theme editor and then look for the uh, style.css file. So basically you only have to go to here. Uh, please make sure that you have a backup uh, of this or, or your project obviously before uh, doing this because it's just to be sure that nothing gets uh, broken. And just basically uh, what I'm gonna do first, it's going to have uh, a very precision and, and a very size for the uh, thumbnails horizontally at first. So to do that, let's just uh, take uh, this piece of code here. It's going to be from here until this section. Okay, let's take this, let's copy, and let's go to our theme editor. You can paste this um, here. And you just basically just need to read uh, what I have written in the, in the instructions. So basically, um, this is going to be for uh, vertical options in my case. I don't want to display this vertically for now, so I'm just going to comment this and just uncomment this section here. Okay, this is it. And then let's go, don't touch the phones obviously, and then let's go with tablets. And this is uh, only for vertical display, just comment this. And come this, and then uncomment this section here. Okay, we're good. And also one more for uh, you know bigger tablets. Let's uh, make some comments here. Obviously, you can skip this part, which is the commenting thing. So, and nothing else for now. So just update your file. Sometimes it tends to give some, uh, you know, catch issues or errors while solving. So just try to do it again. And the next thing is going to be just looking at our, our, our site. So here it is. I'm just going to control F. If you're using a Mac, you probably need to enter on incognito, incognito. So as you can see here, it's, it's better. It's, uh, resides accordingly. It looks really better. Yeah. Also, you have more space between the elements. Um, uh, uh, between the the main picture and the thumbnails which is good and now then the next thing is just testing so i'm gonna open inspector here just make sure that everything looks good and just going to make this fit 
And as you can see here, for example, if I'm going to use a tablet like an iPad, it's going to refresh. And you'll see it working. So, and it looks good. Um, remember, it's it's highly recommended to have like square images uh, or only square images or only like really uh, large, uh, like vertical pictures like this. But square is more recommended. It's like the standard for e-commerce. So uh, let's take a look on mobile devices. Let, let's use this iPhone, for example, and refresh. And you will see it. So it's important to know that when you save the changes and if you don't see like this working, just do Ctrl F or, or try incognito to, to see the changes applied. So the next thing that I'm going to do right now, it's just have this to be um, um, vertically uh, in, in the left side. So that it's important to know that it's going to work for um, for iPad and for desktop because on mobile it's more um, it's better for user experience to have it like at the bottom. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's do on desktop, for example here, and let's go to our code. So uh, I'm gonna leave this link on the description, obviously, so you don't need to worry about this. And copy this section here. And hopefully here you don't have to touch uh, anything. This is just automatic here. So uh, just go to your theme editor and go here and update the file. So this won't work unless you uh, read the changes that I did before when I was starting the video. So we have to go up here and start applying for uh, the vertical position of the elements. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, everything that says um, only for horizontal has to be commented as well. So control here and let's uncomment this. Okay, this is for desktop, be aware of that. And the next thing is going to be for this. I'm gonna comment this and I'm gonna uncomment this. Right, just have this properly aligned. And the next thing is going to be the last option for uh, tablets. So here it is. I'm comment this and comment this final section here. And there you go. Just go erase this and update your file. So double check when you um, before you refresh. So let's take a look. This is vertical. This is good. Horizontal is um, commented. Um, double save for to make sure that it's uh, it's it's gonna work. And then let's go to our browser and update. Ctrl F again. And boom, it's working. So let's close this for a moment to make it look on its own. And the good thing is that it's uh, it's really working here, as you can see. And also if you test like in other browsers, like for example, Edge, uh, like this one here, which is the one that I showed at a uh, first in the video, it's working fine. Also, if we go to, uh, let's say Mozilla, uh, Firefox. Same thing, it's, it's working, it's really good. So uh, the next thing we need to uh, test, it's on, on mobile devices and of course on, um, on tablet. So actually you can test on every other uh, um, resolutions here. I have this like set up uh, for my computer and let's go to iPad. So as you can see here, I use the first image and it totally works. So refresh, so you can test it properly and it's good. So what happens on mobile, uh, the code by, by itself works for mobile devices as well. So if I select, for example, this iPhone and I refresh, so you will find this option here. So obviously uh, in my mobile version, these options are not optimized as you can see. So, but this is only uh, for, for this part as well. So um, if you wanna make some tweaks, uh, you just need to play with the values. Uh, hopefully, please try to make it like, you know, reasonably on the values that I left here uh, because it's the one that is going to work better for you. Uh, but you can play with the values. You'll 
always make sure that you have a copy of your code before testing. And the most important thing, uh, if you apply this on your, on your, in your Elementor templates or themes, um, please make sure that you don't have any other code affecting that section. So I'm going to explain you that with another site that it's created in Elementor with the same uh, gallery, gallery option. And it doesn't have any other code that is affecting that. So let me show you that in a minute. So this is another website from, from a different client that also has the same thing. The, the, the thumbnails are not like properly working. Doesn't look really, really good. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just uh, uh, the same thing. Go to appearance or in this case it's in Spanish, but it's going to say appearance uh, theme editor, like like this one, appearance theme editor, and just strike, go and, and copy that uh, whole thing. Just copy that and go here to your editor and just control B and update. So I uh, just take it, take this uh, URL and make it to another um, section and boom, it's working. It's uh, it's perfect. So this is it. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, guys, uh, please reach me out in the comments. Uh, I'm going to leave you my links down there. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe for more videos to support my channel to create more content like this. Please let me know if you test on other themes or, or templates that are in Elementor. If it works for you, if you have some uh, suggestions or ideas, they are really welcome. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So have a good day, guys. Bye bye.